Welcome guys. We're doing beading today. Just wanted to share with you something that I've learned. How to make flower beading earrings. It's really simple. Uh, once you know how to do the design, it takes about 15 minutes to make one ear. So we have six pound thread, clear thread. It, you're gonna need about three feet, maybe a little four, four feet of uh, clear thread, six pound. You're gonna need about 140 seed beads. We're using size 11, zero bronze. Um, we will need four different colors of the four millimeter bicone um, glass crystals. You want to use four different colors so it's easier to go move along. You'll need a hook and scissors, a lighter, and a plier. The first step that we are going to start off with the black color, we will be doing starting with this portion first, the two black crystals and the vine. So you, you want to start with one black bicon, seed bead, bicon, and then eight of the 11, size 11 seed beads. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should look like this. So I'm gonna leave a little tail. So I pull this all the way through, and then I'm gonna take my size 10 needle and I'm going to go back towards the end and insert through the initial my first black bicone and I make a loop and I'm going to go thread this through twice just to make it more secure And it's okay if your beads move around as long as you know where you are. What you need to know is you need to stop after you go through the first seed bead between the two black bicone. So right now I just finished one petal side, these two portion right here. My next step. I'm going to make the middle of the flower. I'm gonna pick four of the size 11 bronze. So four seed beads, I'm just moving on. I'm just gonna say seed beads, four seed beads. And I'm gonna go through the opposite end of this line. You see my line? Maybe it's easier if I pull this through. I'm gonna th go through the opposite end and I'll make a circle. So, Got this line and I'm going to make sure that I go through the opposite. See how this is moving to my right. I'm going through and enter the left or top part. When you pull it through, you have a circle of five. Once you go through that, you want to move one more seed bead, pull, pick up a black bicon, one seed, pull it all the way through. And I'm gonna skip the seed bead. I'm gonna go through the bicone and I'm gonna insert my needle through the next seed bead. See that? Okay, that's, that's a crucial step. Do the same thing. I'm gonna pick a bike, black bicone, seed bead, pull through. I'm gonna insert, right, skip the seed bead, go through the bicone, go to the next middle seed bead, middle, and I'm gonna pull. Now I have four petals. My last one, same thing. Start. 
we'll go for the next. Now this is important. Done the same thing so far, but you see this nice huge gap that I have? I want my middle by cone, the very first one that I have, to sit right in the middle between these two. So I'm going to have to insert my needle up through that. I'm going to pull through. So now I have a perfect first petal that looks exactly like this. Or you flip it through the other side. Exactly like that. Okay? All right. Pick a seed bead. Pick a flower, pick a seed bead, step, and go back this side, and go down. So essentially, what I just made is the second part right here. I'm going to follow the loop. I'm going to follow through the seed bead, through the black bicone seed bead, bicone, and then I'm going to end up right in the middle. I'm going to go through that seed bead. And just make sure all your lines aren't tangled because it can get really confusing. So I'm in the middle of the second flower. I'm going to pick four. One, two, three three, four, and I'm going to make the middle of the flower again, the second flower, make a circle, oops, I'm going to th go through one bead, seed bead, pick up a bicone, seed bead, Skip the first seed, first seed bead, go back through the bicone, the butt. Ooh, stubborn. Go to the next. Oops. Seed. Go to the next petal. Same thing. Bicone, bead, pull through, skip the bead, go to the bicone, go to the next middle. Make sense so far? Bicone, bead, back to the middle, back to the bead. And then just go back through the very first red petal that I have. And through first petal. See that? Okay. So we're looking at the original, comparing where we're at. We just finished the second flower. You see my thread is out here on the right side between the red and the vine. My job right now is to try to get to the other side after the seed bead on the second petal of the red. So I'm going to go through this way. Through the first, through the seed bead at the tip, through the black petal, through the middle seed bead of the black flower, up through the bicone, black bicone tip, through the seed bead between the black and the red. Pick up six bead, two, three, four, five, six. 
See where I'm at? I'm right over here. I am trying to make that vine. So I picked up six and I am going to attach through to the bead on the next red petal. Make sense? And right now, I am actually going to make this portion right here. I'm going to pick up six more. So I'm making the champagne color flower. I'm going to pick up six bead. Four, five, six. One petal, one bead, one petal. And I am going to incorporate the seed bead at the tip of the red petal, the first one, and make a circle right here. So it's going to look like that. I just made this loop right here. So now, since I'm at this end, my job is to follow through and try to get into the middle of that bead to make the metal flower. So that's what I'm going to do. Go through the vine, go through the vine, petal, and the middle between the two champagne beads. Okay, now that I'm there, I'm going to make the middle of the flower. Four beads, one, two, Three, four, I'm going to incorporate that middle part. Do the same thing. Now I have the middle of the champagne flower. I'm going to go through one more bead. Pick up the bicone, pick up the seed. We're going to do the same thing over and over. Go through the bicone and the next seed. Go take a bicone, another seed. Makes sense so far, right? Bicone, next seed. Bicone. Next seed. Okay. You see how this area is kind of weak. I'm going to make sure I go through my last, connect my last petal with my first so that I have a complete circle. So let's stop and see where we're at. We just finished our third flower. We're right here. And right now I'm going to connect between my last. So I'm going to make this circle right here. The white, uh, the clear white, yellowish flower petal, the circle. So one bead, bead, one bead, one bead, and I'm going to go through the next loop. And I'm going to connect the petal. I'm going to make a full circle. And I am going to end up right in the middle of the last flower. It's okay if your wire goes crazy, just as long as you tighten it towards the end. There we go. So right now I'm right here and I'm going to make the middle of the yellow flower. Do four again. Connect it into a circle. Again, go through one more bead. Pick up the bicone. 
seed, go through the bicone, skip the seed, go to the next petal, do the same thing until you have a complete flower. It's good to have a felt pad surface to work on so that the beads don't roll around and you don't lose your beads. So I'm going to complete my flower and connect my last petal with my first one and see where we're at. So I'm right here. My thread is right at the end between the, the two flowers and the vine and my job is to try to get to the other side so that I can make my, my vine on this side. So I'm going to loop around through the seed, through the champagne petals, to the middle of the champagne flower, through the seed. So I'm on the other side now. Pick up six, two, four, six, and I'm going to connect it to the next petal. that there and I'm gonna make my hook I'm gonna pick eight two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna come incorporate the first bead and make a circle see that and in order for me to make this diamond shape, once I'm done with the circle, I have to go through two bead, add a new one, go through two, add a new, go through two, add a new, and then go through the last two and loop around so it makes it into a diamond and you're done I can reinforce or if I'm happy I can tie this off Ooh. let's not be messy let's see let's just go one more time just to make it strong One more time around, just to make it strong. I don't think your ears uh, wear down earring very fast, so I don't think it needs to be super durable, but just in case. So you make a loop, go through, tie it off, cut up, cut up the end, This is the fun part. Don't burn yourself. Lighter, burn the tip. This is why you leave a long tail towards the end so you can actually thread it again. And the bigger the needle, the easier it is to tie. All you have to do is just tie it up towards the end, make a loop. It's like tying your shoelace, except supposedly easier. Da 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 da! And then take your earring hoop, get your plier, figure out which part bends which way, take the plier, bend it out. Take the hook, hook it on, take the flat plier, bend it back, get to go. You've got your second set.
so you can find the supplies there'll be a link online in the video description.